And good evening. Nora is off tonight. I'm John Dickerson. We're going to begin with a deadly and fast moving wildfire emergency in Southern California. This is a live look at Interstate 5 in Santa Clarita. You can see the thick smoke in the hills. Cars and trucks have been stuck there for about 12 hours, but could be moving soon. At least two people are dead. More than 100,000 have been forced from their homes. Dozens of homes have been damaged or destroyed. At least 10 fires are burning in the state, including more than half a dozen that have broken out since yesterday. Errol Barnett leads off our coverage tonight. He's in the fire zone north of Los Angeles in Porter Ranch. Errol, what are you seeing? Well, around me, John, you see the aftermath of deadly fires which have been raging all day here in Southern California. As you mentioned, it triggered the shutdown of a major highway, mandatory evacuations, and left everyone here, including myself, with that pungent taste of smoke on their tongue. The sudden inferno here seemed almost unstoppable. 50 mile an hour winds sending flames and embers everywhere in this hillside community north of Los Angeles. The all-night non-stop battle forcing some homeowners out of bed and onto the front lines with garden hoses. Five hours ago, we didn't even really know that this fire was a thing, and, and now we've been forced to evacuate. Firefighters also using every tool available, but the sheer speed of the Saddle Ridge fire, burning 800 acres per hour, hampered their efforts and at times outpaced their ability to warn people to evacuate. At least one person has died from this widespread blaze, which is only 13% contained. Behind me, you can see a firefighter trying to soak this house and prevent it from spreading. To the east in Cala Mesa, at least one life was lost after a mobile home park was torched. Caused by this trash truck seen on security video billowing with smoke, dumping burning trash feet from people's doorsteps. Almost 80 homes were destroyed and many residents are still unaccounted for, including Lois Arvixen. Her niece, Lisa Sudarth, is anxious. Everybody in the family, no one heard from her and I tried to call her. The second I found out and everything just went to voicemail on both of her phones. And the family that lived inside this home told CBS News that it is representative of their immigrant dream. We also learned this today. A man in Northern California died on Wednesday minutes after his oxygen tank was turned off. That's in connection to that controversial power outage meant to prevent wildfires. John? Errol Barnett in Porter Ranch.